softball sectionals are just around the corner. Whitmer and St. Ursula could play each other again, and this game sets a high bar to live up to. Two batters in, two batters score. Reagan LaPointe get gone. Panthers pounce on a quick 2-0 lead. St. Ursula says, oh yeah, watch this. Three batters into the home half. Talene Bowman, that's a three-run shot. Anything you can do, I can do better, right? Arrows take a 3-2 lead after an explosive first. Sophia Weigas ties in the fifth for Whitmer, and they're not done. Ashley Rodriguez puts a dent into the outfield wall. Two-run double gives Whitmer the lead, part of a five-run fifth. So Whitmer leads 8-3, going to the bottom of the sixth. But it's 8-5 in the seventh, and the Arrows have life. Bowman again, two more runs, cuts the gap to 8-7. And can you feel that? It's the momentum shifting. Bases loaded, full count, one out. Lena Moses walks. It's tied. Anything can bring a run home now. Two down, Jordan Terry slaps to short, and it's just long enough. Ball game, 9-8. The arrows come from five down to walk off in a thriller. We never get down on ourselves. We always have each other's backs, you know, and it's, it's really nice playing and being up to bat, knowing that my team has me no matter what happens. So it takes all the pressure off of it. Just looking to make my teammates proud, you know. Um, I really wanted to beat that team, and I really wanted to take us to the track championship this year. So, you know, I was just looking to make contact, do what I can, and try my best. <laughs> yeah. Mason Lowry and Scoot Miller, where do you guys even begin? Well, there's a lot to unpack from that one, but let's start here. Got to love the mentality of the St. Ursula team. Down four runs in the fifth. They give up five runs in that fifth inning to a really, really good hitting Whitmer team. Nothing phases this group. They were cool, calm, and collected those last couple of innings. They really were. Just a relentless team. But not many teams could come back from that type of deficit. The fact that they gave up those five big runs in the fifth inning. They had some tough calls go against them, but they were not phased. They came back and were able to get uh, six big runs. Uh, in the sixth and seventh inning combined, and, and what a job there. Jordan Terry with the walk-off hit there to win it. This Whitmer team, well, collectively, they've hit 380 this season. They're an awesome team at the plate. What's let them down at times this year has been pitching, and unfortunately for them, so many walks in the seventh was what really did them in. Yeah, kind of opened the door there for St. Ursula, and they took advantage of each and every one. But, again, this is the Whitmer team. You can see they're going to be a dangerous team. This team's got a lot of offensive power. Their pitching was really dominant from innings two through five, mm -hmm. they just could not get through that sixth and seventh inning, but I think you have to give the Arrows a lot of credit for that. Yeah, Whitmer, they're going to have maybe two chances for revenge against St. Ursula next week. If Whitmer can get by Bowser in their sectional play-in game, they will face St. Ursula back here next Wednesday in a sectional final, and they'll play again in a regular season game on Friday. Two games not to be missed. Yeah, those are going to be great games. We knew this was going to be a great game. We saw a little bit of everything. We saw some great defense we saw some great pitching we saw some tremendous hitting this is going to be an interesting uh, what could be a three-game series before next week's all said and done jordan terry the walk-off hero for st ursula they take out whitmer here at home and we'll send it back to you